symmetric couple. This is one of this side. Of the, the center. Let's do both sides, but really one on your right side, okay? Lower back has to be long, but heavy. It's not about your knees being super, you know, of course you have to be flexible, but it's your lower back opening. Big bomb, okay? Thick. On the side. So why are we doing this? Obviously it's a stretch, but your nervous system doesn't kick in and tighten anything up. You want to be comfortable in these positions. On the side. You want to make it feel like you're sitting on the couch. But for some of you this is torture, right? Just relax. And one more on the side. Let's stay on the side for a little, few more seconds. If you can, get your hands off the floor. Use your legs for now. Now, balance. Relax and balance, relax. Balance. 45, this hand. Another hand 45. Negative. So if you open your hands, you'll be like this, but drop this one down. Just bear with me. Can you sit your, your weight away from this turn? Via neutral elbow. And this hand, look how, look how heavy you are, obviously. Push this rotation away from you via elbow. You're not doing this. You're doing two circles. From here, two circles. Okay. Get rid of the pressure. Do it again. One more time. Okay, go to the centers. Shake it off, shake it off. Put your right foot out. Reach, pull. Shift forward, other foot, step back. Pull. Drop your weight, drop your center into your, this foot, but same time pull. So, like a chin up. Like you grab your foot, like doing a chin up towards you. What's the power source of the chin up? It's your elbow. It's not your hand. You grab, but your elbow pulls into your center. Other side, again. Adjust. You have to shake it off, you don't get kicked up. Grab. Pull your elbow to your center. That means your ass can't go back. Right? If your ass goes back, you're not stretching. You gotta keep your weight here, pull your foot towards it. And one more time your left foot. And go to the center, like this. Drop your head, halfway down. Push it down and come up. Chest, then head. Breathe. Good. The last step back. Instead of short, we're going to go long. Where's the 45? Not here. It's here. Where you're looking. Keep your eyes there. This will ensure your hands don't go flop when you here. Okay? That. That's your outside ground kick. This clock and your foot are opposite ends. 3 o'clock, 9 o'clock. You don't go here and prep. Kick. Yeah. Be, be natural, it's not gentle for now. I'm not looking for pure precision, but this can come here, okay? Look at, still, uh, still, I won't, call, I won't call it elbow high, but still elbow out a little bit. Hand leads first, of course. As the elbow drops, your hand goes away from your foot, and it gives you counter weight. When you have counter weight, you can kick. There's the kick. Your hands will end up generally about here. After you kick, put your hand, keep your hand leg up. We'll do it in pieces, okay? You can see it. After you kick, your hands end up about here. They're not sloppy over here or over here, right? After you kick, what does it take? Watch, guys. What if I put my foot down? What does it look like? Mm -hmm. 
The reason you need to do this is set up for the next piece. Positive. Remember the thing with your partner? You know it. If you go a little too high, 
Can you feel the weight go into your chest and your back? If you think, oh, I bear down, it's no good either. Stack it so you're a very thin line, but structurally beyond strong. Hang it. So after this, sorry, after this, we'll call this a wind up. Your torts, you unwind it. So wind up, unwind. Right? Wind up, unwind. Can you see? It's not that I'm holding my center strong. I'm holding my center strong. Strong center. Eventually, I'll rock. But if you if you have a power going this way and a power going at the same time, you have a center. It's not about you making a center. Center is being made because of two ends. Okay, take another break.